Hi guys, I was looking for things to print off on Thingiverse and spotted this fully printable wind-up car. In fact, you're supposed to print it off in gift card format so you can send it to somebody in the post. Uh, no glue required. Designed by Brian Brocken, December the 23rd, 2018. There is a YouTube video for it, I'm pretty sure, so I'll put a link in the video description. Uh, on Thingiverse, 3308710. Now I've been experimenting with different print setups, and I've printed this with uh, Brim method, or whatever they call it, which is where it puts this very thin layer around the outside. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, because it might be a problem when we come to the gears. I've been printing everything on raft format, which puts quite a thick layer on first. But I think with this one I might have got away with no um, surround. So, still, I'm just learning, trying everything out as we go along. So, instructions basically say cut everything out first. If we didn't have the brim around it, it'd probably be a lot easier. Um, yeah. OK, I'll get some cutters and I'll cut it out. don't really need to see me do that. I'll cut it out, trim it up, and then we'll see if we can assemble it. Well, I've tidied all the bits up. I think I can safely say that was a bad idea using the brim printing, because we didn't need any of that. It would have been better to have printed it with no um, bed or whatever platform. Anyway, I've done it now. It took me quite a while and I can still see little bits that I haven't got perfect. Let's see if we can do it. I did notice this diagram is very slightly different to what we have here. Uh, what I printed was version 2. and This appears to be the diagram for version 1. The only difference seems to be there's an extra bit that goes on the back here. So, looking at the picture, two square holes, two or oblong holes there. We need this one. It's going to go in there. Okay, we need to trim that a little bit more. to be in there. Uh, these are the ones that took a bit of cleaning. these so in there. yeah okay that 
that's going to need a bit of trimming. That's going to need quite a bit of trimming. Let's just see if it will fit in any of the other ones. No, so that's going to need a bit more trimming. How about that one? Is there any difference? So I haven't got it quite right. But on the other hand, it is working. <laughs> and obviously it goes better on a nice smooth surface. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased with that. I'm really annoyed that I made a mess of it printing it wrong. But uh, I think we'd have got much better results printing it a slightly different way. I wonder if it'll go on the floor. Let's just wind it up, pulling it backwards. works. I could reprint that spring on its own because all the individual files are available. goes what I would think was backwards better than it goes forwards. So in summary, that build took about 10 times as long as it should have done because I printed it the wrong way. And we're not getting the performance that we probably would if all those gears were nice and clean instead of me having to trim them with a file. So, uh, yeah, an interesting experiment that I've learned from. Don't print it that way. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.